A water main break in the North Metro flooded several homes with such force it shattered windows. It happened near the 4800 block of White Bear Parkway in White Bear Lake. The break in the main was pointed directly at a senior living facility. Officials estimate more than 200,000 gallons of water rushed out before they could turn it off. WCCO's Jeff Wagner learned what caused the break and the severity of the damage. Well, it could be much worse. The water was so high. Easy for Michael Truler to say. We were lucky. We were just on the right side of the building. Had we been on the other side, we would have suffered the same fate. That fate is a muddy, sloppy, dripping mess. Yeah, it looks like about five units are flooded out right now. A water main near this senior living community sprung a massive leak. Thanks to this plug that broke. Most likely through corrosion. Officials say when the plug on the main broke, the water erupted out with such force it was able to shatter the window on this home. It knocked his window right out. Filled up in the living room and uh, he was asleep in his bedroom. Officials say finding the source of the break was difficult alone. Because it was off the road, it was hard to identify uh, what actually transpired and where it was coming from. So it did take longer to isolate this, which caused more water, water to come out into the area. With the water turned off, crews went to work. They ripped up piles of soaking wet carpet. People's belongings were found outside, caked in mud, likely pulled from the homes by the rushing water. Filled up that area and went down this sewer here, and thank God there's one there, and that goes into the pond. Truler knows he's lucky. The water crept into his garage, but several of his neighbors experienced a small flood. In pretty good shape for what could have, could have been much worse. Uh, nobody was injured, nobody drowned. The fire chief says the American Red Cross was on scene and did help at least eight residents who were displaced. Officials say the cap that broke was about 40 years old. Glad to hear they're getting some help. Yes, absolutely. All right, thanks, Jeff. Mm -hmm.